Okay, which pair of units both measure the same quantity? Option A, kilometer per hour is measuring speed and kg per cubic meter is measuring density so A cannot be of the same unit okay option B this is Pascal and Newton per cubic meter Pascal is actually Newton per square meter so this is wrong as well option C foot and joules per column this is correct because Voltage is actually uh, calculated by taking the work done or the energy divided by the charge. Okay, and the unit it can be either expressed in volt or uh, work. The unit for work is joule, and then the unit for charge is coulomb. So it can be expressed in joules per coulomb. Okay, and for option D. This is Watt and Joules. Watt is actually Joules per second. So uh, D is wrong as well. So the answer should be C. Okay, for this question, we are looking at the order of steps in terms of operating a micrometer screw gauge. So what we need to do first is to place the coin to be measured between the anvil and the spindle so this is step number one and after that we have to close the spindle by turning the timber to close the anvil and the spindle and we do not close it completely using the timber because we might squash the coin so when the spindle is almost touching the coin we have to switch to the ratchet uh, and we turn it until a click sound is heard and this will prevent uh, over tightening then after that we read from the main skill which is uh, which is the reading on the sleeve so this is number four and lastly we have to read the reading on the timber and we add it up that will give us the uh, final micrometer screw gauge reading so this is actually number five so if you look at the order it will be 3, 5, 1, 4, 2. Answer is C. Okay, this question shows us the speed time graph of a trolley. And the question is asking how far does the trolley travel at constant speed? So how far we are looking at the distance. And and constant speed, right, we can associate with uh, the horizontal part of the graph where the speed is constant at 4 meter per second which is from 4 second to 7 seconds and if you want to find the distance it will be the area under graph which is the one that I'm shading we can see the shape of a rectangle okay and the breadth is 3 unit and then the length is one, two, three, four, four unit. So the total total distance traveled will be the area under graph. It will be three times four. This will give us twelve meter. Answer B. Okay, for this question, the driver takes a total of two hours to make a journey of seventy five kilometer. Uh, however, she took a break of half an hour and she was stuck in. A traffic jam for a quarter of an hour so that will left her with 2 hours minus 30 minutes which is half an hour and a quarter of an hour is uh, 1 over 4 she's now left with 1 hour and 1 quarter of an hour and if she needs to travel a distance of 75 km her average speed it will be distance divided by time 75 km divided by 1 and 1 quarter of an hour that will give us 60 km per hour so the answer is C ok when a parachute is open right basically the parachutist is experiencing two forces that's the upward force which is the air resistance and the 
downward force which is the weight of the parachute so the crucial thing here is uh, it says that it's, it's moving downwards at constant speed constant speed means that there is no acceleration and hence it tells us that the resultant force must be equal to 0 newton and in order for the resultant force to be 0 newton the air resistance must be equal to the weight so the answer here should be B.